Good morning. Welcome to the Isle of Harris in the Outer Hebrides in Scotland. What a beautiful day. So I thought I'd just run off a very quick video just to basically show you how I go about getting a final edited image. So we've just spent two hours down at Luskintyre Beach, which is two miles further north. One of the world's most iconic beaches. Absolutely beautiful. Lots and lots of open golden sand. I would much rather shoot rocky coastal scenes. I think there's a lot more interest, uh, a lot more interaction with the water, and I just find them more pleasing to shoot, more, certainly more dramatic. So I spent the last 20 minutes, 25 minutes setting up a shot here. I'll just run through the kit very quickly. A Canon 5DS, which is a full frame camera. I've got the Canon 1635 lens on for a, a full wide angle effect. I'm shooting with a Lee. A set of Lee filters here. Now, I have the 105 circular polarizer, and it's the landscape one. The thinner, cheaper of the two. About 170 pounds. If you buy the thicker one at 200, you bought the wrong one for landscaping. This one is thinner, so therefore, you're not gonna have as much uh, of an issue with vignetting, if at all. I'm using a two-stop, medium, graduated filter, half dark, half light, and the idea of that is that it holds back the detail in the sky and the water in the distance. The polarizer, incidentally, just takes that little bit of white reflection off the water so that those beautiful green aqua colors, they come through wonderfully well. And in order to give me a half a second exposure, I'm using a standard three-stop filter. That's all I'm using, and that will slow the camera down enough to give me about half a second. Now my settings, now you know people ask me about settings all the time, it's almost impossible to mirror somebody's settings but I'll give you anyway. So at the moment I'm shooting f8, I'm shooting at ISO 50, half a second. I'm focused somewhere in this section here on the rocks and I've actually waited for the sun to go in because with the sun out it catches my shadow and also the shadow of the camera and the tripod. So I've just waited for a little bit of a break in the clouds, which is great. So basically, I'm all set up. I've just got to wait now for some water to come through. It's coming now. Ah, oh, that's, that's a bit too much. I was here about 20 minutes ago and I almost got engulfed. The tide is now on its way out. But every now and then you'll get a rogue wave that will come in and just surprise you. Now, you've got to be very, very careful about the odd rogue wave. Keep your bag up high, keep it away from you and be prepared to grab your camera and run. <laughs> I've done that on the odd occasion. Uh, and once in Iceland in February, I wasn't quite so lucky. So we're just gonna wait for a shot. And all I'm waiting for is the water to come over this gully here and to create a curtain of water as the rest of the water that comes in via the top center comes in and fills up that lovely little channel here. So I'm just gonna have a very, very quick look there's another one. Don't forget, if you are shooting, and the sun's come back out, but if you are shooting, uh, you've just got to be careful about your exposure levels. Now, there's a lot of dark rock here. If, you see, if you're setting up the camera, so when the sun's uh, hidden behind the clouds, the issue you're going to have is that if you expose it properly, you're going to be overexposed when the water comes in. The water's so bright, that actually what you should do is set it up about one to one and a third stops underexposed. And when the water comes in and you get your shot, the exposure should be about perfect. So these are the things that you've just got to be aware of. Just got to be aware of. And never turn your back on the ocean. Never turn your back on the ocean. We're not too bad here, but you've only got to have a, a rogue wave every now and then that will come much higher and much further up than where you are. Now, I could choose to do a very, very long exposure here. And it's not that I'm moving away from long exposure. There are places where it's better suited, but I'm starting to sort of fall into the one, two second exposure camp, where I'm retain, retaining some detail and texture in the water, uh, and giving me a little bit more interest, I think, to be honest with you. And, that's kind of the way I'm going really. And of course, if you come to 
Isle of Lewis or the Isle of Harris, which is what we're on now. It's uh, you know full of beaches and coastal scenes, and you can play around with different exposure levels to your heart's content. Now, this is the first time I've been here. I've been here all week, and I have to say it is outstanding. Um, you know, it's a coastal place predominantly. The sea stacks on both sides of the island. It's uh, the golden beaches are something else. I don't know if people come to this part of the world for the golden beaches. Now I would say some of the beaches that I've been on have almost rivaled some that I have seen in Australia. Whitehaven Beach in the Whitsundays uh, near the Great Barrier Reef probably is my favourite beach. <laughs> That's not achievable for everybody to jump on a plane to Australia. But honestly, Northern Scotland, the colour of the water is a beautiful aqua, absolutely stunning. And if you mix that with blue skies, and that gorgeous, uh, gorgeous golden sand, you are on a winner, absolutely on a winner. You know, we'll be running workshops here towards the end of 2017. Uh, you know, and anybody that's been wanting to come here for years like I have, you've got to come. The peace and the tranquility, it's quite remote in parts as well, it's quite desolate. But you know, it's, uh, it's good to sort of reconnect with nature. And honestly, you can go half an hour driving around here without seeing a car. It is just fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So anyway, that's my quick little video. Uh, if there's any questions, ask me in the content box uh, below the video itself. But that, I think, is a wrap. And uh, until next time, don't forget, sharing is caring. See you next time. Bye-bye.